Yo, what's going on guys, JBH here, and welcome back to 3, where I'm adding the UFC 226 title fight between Mioch and Cormier. So, first fight, I took part in one of the main card bouts, Chiesa or Chiesa versus Pettis, however you want to pronounce it, and unfortunately, well, it was embarrassing to say the least, I got subbed out within two and a half minutes, I mean, we had we had a couple of early strikes, had one signature stun strike where we had him on his, on his back, but before you know it, I'm getting choked out of the... Out of the matchup. Without any further ado, we'll jump straight into this second fight tonight. Paul Felder versus Mike Perry. I'm taking control of Perry and hopefully getting this night on track with a win and making it sort of one all. But yeah, no, definitely not how he wanted to start the night before. But as we always say, there's always another fight. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. Alright, so here, very accomplished striker finally making the walk to the octagon to be interested, of course, in keeping it in his wheelhouse. And he's got the takedown defense to keep on it. No, he'll be looking to put on a nick here tonight. He has insanely fast kicking speed and ridiculous leg dexterity. If you are close for him to kick you, you've got a real problem on your hands. says this guy makes the walk to the octagon and you can see why if you've watched film on him this is a true mixed martial artist plus skills in all areas and figures to be a handful really for anybody in this division probably comfortable tonight anywhere the fight goes truly a well-rounded mma fighter you know we, we we drop that term out there a lot this guy fits the bill this guy is one of the toughest guys i have ever seen inside the octagon his ability to absorb punishment and back from it this is absolutely incredible to watch. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So more than five year gap between these two fighters went into the age. And they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this was three round in the UFC one weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the corner. This man is a boxer, holding a record of 11 wins, three losses. He stands five feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Orlando, Florida, Mike Platinum. And now we're finishing his opponent, fighting out of the corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 15 wins, 3 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 150 pounds, fighting at a Philadelphia Pena, Paul, the Irish Dragon. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. So, Dan Bergliata, ready? Ready? Let's and we are underway. All right, here we go to control of the Viridian. Oh, it's that kick. She quite liked uh, Orlando. Massive fan of the magic, so. Oh, there's a oh, good side here as he gets the early takedown. Hit the skip, and he's out of the mount. Nicely done. Pretty good with the strikes here off of his back by Felder. Splits with the punch. Shit, went the wrong way with it. No. Fuck. Very Oh, damn, that's a heavy hit. Gonna try to take his back here, and he does. Right. A little bit uneventful. Looks like he's got the over. Double leg. Boom. All right. So definitely winning the first two minutes. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge. Oh. 
Wow, what a kick. Nice leg kick. Back forth we go. Just missed with the... Oh, there's the head kick blocked. Nice left hand. All of those are blocked. Is that a good knee to the body there by uh, can't, can't block to the body. Under two minutes now to go. Uh, come on, block. Oh. oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, he slid all there to avoid the left hand coming back. Oh, come on, too much stamina. Oh! You gotta be careful there. Don't rush in. Oh, fuck, I went back down. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Shit. Oh, nice dodge. Come on. Got cracked with the jab there, Joe, and he on the center line. The one place it really can't afford to be. He's showing some vulnerability here, leaning right into his opponent's oh. range. Let's see if he makes some adjustments here. Ah, come on, come on, come on, come on. That shin. Oh, he got. Oh. Attempts a big head, but come misses. On. Well, he's always working off that jab there by the Irish Dragon, Paul. Huge elbow to the head. Oh, come on. Oh, that was a very two and throw round. Not sure. I think that may be a, a draw that round. That was too close to call. But he gets up off that stool. 60 seconds here to recover. Bonus is on his corner to keep his head in the. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. We ate a couple of shots there, but we stunned him a couple of times. So, like if anything, he may have won that one. So we'll just come back. I mean, we did get two takedowns though. A lot of control in the on the ground for a while there, but the beautiful Jenny unfortunately we were keep going. keep him down there. All right, here we go round two. Round two underway. That last one was an all-out draw. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Big one side. Oh, straight right. Oh, what a leg kick. Felder gets caught with that punch. He's wants to get those hands up. And a good series of strikes. Whoa. Oh. This could be it right here. Oh, come on, what the heck? Yeah, that was weird. Well, I know he's ah, come on, take down. For that returning hook there, he would be wise to start Luke's feet, get the tips of his toes, and figure out a way to get the head off the center line. Out of yes. Line. Oh, there's the single. Oh, come on, what's the... I'll just sit here for a bit. Felder gets hot with that. Working out of the half guard here. Just gonna hold this for a while. And he lands a hammer. Come on. Postures up and delivers a massive ground and pound punch to the head. That's a big shot right there. Let's go for a sub. Trying we got a sub. Underneath the chin. Come on! Looks very tight. He may have to tap. Yes! We got him! He got, he got it. Well, nicely done. He got choked, didn't tap in time. Well, we were subbed out in the first fight tonight. But we have come back with a sub of our own. Damn, I planned that out. That whole time I was just going to tire him out, tire him out, tire him out, get a couple of shots to the head. And then get sub, and then boom. It's over before he even gets a chance to tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division.
Ladies and gentlemen, Red Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 34 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Mike Bahama So there he is, your winner by way of submission, and how good was that? A talk about maximize a UFC, and that's a great of doing just that. You see him share a moment here with coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done, the hay in the barn, that these guys are going to be grading deep into the night after a submission win like this. Well, that is the first submission win on UFC 3, so I'm pretty darn happy with that, and that will make and one win the night. So, going into France Move versus Derek, going to be fighting as Lurus. You can stay tuned for that in the neck, where hopefully we can make it two in a row. But as we all know, this Ungon, I can't, I still can't pronounce his name properly. Ungonu fella, he is one beast. I mean, he loves Miocic, but you know, I he can carry going into this fight tomorrow and be in the right this men, men, well, mentally. Then I think he could destroy Lewis. Lewis anyway. Fight as the underdog in my book, and and uh, and hope we can get another win. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in.